currently at sea on board Harrier Wolf, just finishing up the proficiency patrol, which is our uh, really our first opportunity to uh, do a crew shakedown. Just us, uh, my 65 plus an additional 20 training sailors to be on board the ship and to get underway and to really run the ship through its paces and learn as much as we possibly can with the ship. I think if anybody was to ask me what, uh, what, our, what our mission is right now, is to bring a first class ship in the service. And that's really starting from the ground up. We have to first learn all the brand new systems, all the new technology. And we started that a couple of years ago by integrated uh, a computer-based training where we all sat behind desks for literally months at a time to, uh, to, to study the ship academically. And then uh, we made a transition point where we came on board the ship in small teams to focus on different parts of the technology on board and learned uh, practically uh, from, from a static display mode while the ship was alongside and still in production. Which is really quite good because you get the opportunity to sit beside and work beside the people, the manufacturers and the people that are actually installing the equipment. You really get a, um, a really in-depth knowledge of how the equipment operates and how it integrates together. And we spent a great deal of time once we got the ship on the 31st July in 2020 and brought it over to the uh, naval shipyard. We spent a lot of time on board. We actually spent about three months on board going through the ship uh, and understanding it uh, from top to bottom. Then the transition, of course, was to go to sea for uh, 12 days. Um, to really do a crew shakedown where we started off at slow time, putting boats in the water. And moving the ship away from a berth and then bringing the ship back alongside a berth, uh, going to an anchor's position um, and getting underway, dealing with uh, other uh, vessels in the vicinity of us and doing contact avoidance, working the radars and learning how to communicate internally inside the ship. And me getting the opportunity to drive the ship alongside unassisted. Um, never drove the ship ever before. Uh, and within uh, seven days, we were doing a jetty approaches and bringing the ship alongside, unassisted with tugs, um, with all kinds of different types of winds. Which is really, you know, something to say uh, about the naval training system in general. It gives us the tools to actually be able to operate a ship from any facet, whatever your trade is on board the ship. To bring a brand new ship into service using the general rules and the general instructions that you get and apply them to the new ship and then figure out what the nuances are and apply them in a short period of time. The design that went into the ship in specific areas, um, talking about creature comforts and, and you know new capabilities that we haven't had before. And, and I, I think from a, from a deck department perspective or deck division perspective, the two rescue boats uh, and their ability to operate over the horizon and really force project ashore, whether it's going to get parts or uh, going to do uh, reconnaissance missions. They really give us the ability to reach out and touch, you know, further afield up to uh, 20, 25 miles away that we've never really had before. It also gives uh, some very junior sailors a significant amount of responsibility. Uh, and that's one of the great strengths we've seen uh, from this particular trip. And then we have a big landing craft that uh, allows us to put uh, some of the smaller vehicles that uh, a Canadian Army contingent might come with. Um, and we can use that landing craft to beach um, them ashore and beach the equipment ashore and, uh, and you know, get, get them ashore without, get, without them even getting wet. 